Hey everybody, I'm back in action. Well, that wasn't a month from doing my last review. I think. Anyway. Hmm, what's another thing I really love? Shovel Knight. Of course I have Shovel Knight. It's my favorite game ever. And they have these wonderful plushies of them. And there's a whopping four at the time I'm recording this video. Hopefully they'll make more. Maybe of the entire Order of No Quarter. That would be pretty sick a rooney if you ask me. Anyway, let's get into this. Start off with the Tropical King. Probably my least favorite out of the four. Um, you know, he's not humanoid. That's A-OK. -okay. But I feel like some parts just aren't that right. Of course he's not to scale, which is... It's okay, of course, because in the game he's huge. He's the size of, like, a whale. His mouth is a bit off in the game. He's kind of frowning. His underbelly is a bit of a whitish in game. His color is a bit more of a dark red, and his crown is... it's fine. He has this little apple thing, since he's half trout, half apple. Tropical king, not truple. He has his fin. Now let's get into the main gimmick of him. Three, two, one. Yeah, he plays music. Pretty sweet Aruni. He plays another track, which is like a minute long, so I'm not gonna play it. But if you wish to know what it is, it's the Waltz of the Tropical King. And it plays when you meet the Tropical King in Shovel Knight's campaign, and you get a Tropical Chalice. Let's get him out of the way. Cool. Start off with the next one. Or next up. Let's go over the man himself, the first one released. Shovel Knight. Himself. So here he is. He's probably... Um, he's the first one, but he, the, the, the main kind of gimmick with their plushies is that they have magnets, which is pretty neat or roomy. The hands and the back, for most of them. And you can put his shovel, either the, this part in his hand, or that part in his hand. Strangely not at the hilt, you can do that in either hand. And the cool part, if you put him like this, you can't stand unless you just balance him just right. But you can take the shovel, snap it on his back, bada bing bada boom, he can stand. So that's really nice. And he has big horns, which are... It's more of an eggshell white, it's slightly offset white, which is accurate. Got his black tee, which covers his face, whatever's under there. Maybe, maybe it's the fish. Um... He's very high quality, I mean, these won't be coming off, it's stitched in, they're like twice this part, maybe. It's only held on by one thing. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the next one. One of the newer ones, Shield Knight. Shovel Knight's love interest, and the girl that you go out to save. And she's pretty cool. One of my bigger complaints there is I feel like she's a bit lower quality than Shovel Knight, for this reason. On Shovel Knight, his little hip pads right there, they're stitched on twice, and you can't move them at all, which is normal. I mean, it's armor, you don't need to move it. But with Shield Knight, they can freely move in, and they're only connected via one string, or how I'm... Well, it's only stitched to one spot, which kind of worries me. I don't want to have to feel like these are going to fall off and I'll spend another $30 to get... Well, they're $28, which I'll get into that a bit later. But they're $28, and I don't want to spend another $28 just to get a replacement. Anyway, let's get that rant out of the way. Her, this big shield on the back cannot actually come off. It's stitched to her back and the back of her head. And it's really, really big. I don't think they actually had to make it that big. It's a bit smaller in game. Well, Shield Knight isn't in the game that much. But anyway, her shoulder pads are a bit smaller than Shovel Knight's. This part's a bit smaller than Shovel Knight's. And unlike Shovel Knight, whose little crotch um, protection is uh, an oval, hers is more of a diamond, which is kind of cool. And she has these wings on... Well, not they're not actual wings, but feathers... On her helmet, got her mole, which is really cool, because you can even see that in-game. And she's pretty nice. Of course, you can see her face, unlike the male knights. But, let's get up, let's get to the 
last but certainly not least, seemingly everyone's favorite knight, kind of including me personally, I'm more of a Tinker Knight guy. Hopefully they'll make a Tinker Knight plush. But my second favorite knight, and the one who everyone loves, calling me, Plague Knight, the first of the three playable Order of No Quarter Knights. And I read somewhere that, I think someone asked Yacht Club on Twitter when they announced the Plague Knight plush, that, hey, uh, why'd you make Plague Knight? And then they said, oh, well, you can play as Plague Knight, so he's kind of a main character now, so here you go, here's a Plague Knight plush. So then I have a theory, I have a feeling, I have a gut feeling, my a guts man feeling, they're going to make King Knight and Spectre Knight, since you're going to be able to play as them. Hopefully, I think Spectre Knight's going to come out in a month or two, I'm pretty excited for Spectre Knight. He's not one of my, he's not my favorite, but I love all the knights, they're all cool. Anyway, let's get back to Plague Knight. He's probably my favorite out of all of them. And, unlike them, he doesn't really have much armor. I mean, he has shoulder pads and some knee pads right there. But besides that, he's more of a cloak wearer. This hood you can actually take off. However, it's attached via string. If you cut that string off, then you'll be able to actually take his hood off. I don't know why you'd want to do that, since you never see Plague Knight take off his hood. But, yeah, if you want to, you can do that. Got his Plague Doctor mask, which is in green. I think it should be. His hands. And kind of cool that I noticed, with his Plague Staff, or whatever it's called. His staff, the rod part, probably can't hear that, but it's hard. Of course, not made of metal, but it's a uh, shovel knight. His shovel is completely plush, which is kind of annoying because it kind of bends pretty easily sometimes. But this, it's not going to be bending. I don't know what it's made out of. Probably if you really try, you could probably bend it. But why would you want to do that? The top part is plush. It's really, it's a really cool topper. Probably make a pen out of this if you really want to. Got the little purple part. And you can use the Staff of Striking or the Staff of Surging, whatever floats your boat. Firstly, I'm more of a Staff of Striking guy. Anyway, it fits in his hands, nice and firmly. Oh, and something I should tell you is, besides Shield Knight and the Trample King, the magnets on their hands are actually on the outside. What I basically mean is, it's basically like they're holding it like that, which is kind of weird. Shouldn't it be like in the inside so they can grip, grip their weaponry? Shield Knight, the magnets are on her wrist, which is cool. And I'm going to take this off real quick, because it's a pretty heavy thing. Like, you, like his, his arm is default like that, and then you put it in and just weighs it down. And he has this kind of rope right there. Got his green belt, which I wish it was this material that uh, Shield Knight and Shovel Knight have. Shovel Knight's not really in frame at the moment, but that's okay. And, but, it's this weird material. <clears throat> and then you have an, more rope on the back. And something really nice is on the side, he has his little alchemy pouch. There is nothing inside, so don't bother. All that's in there is stuffing, and it's actually surprisingly really soft. You could just, not not via hip, in, in the prototype you can see it's on the hip. It's actually a bit more up, mainly near the armpit area. And mine, unfortunately, his arm is a bit goes up a bit too much. The reason his arms are like that is so he can hold his staff and like he can go like that. But I'll get into my problem with that in a bit. You know, I'll get into it now, since I'm kind of wrapping up on Plague Knight. There is one more magnet on the back. Like Shovel Knight, you can attach his Plague Staff on the back. And you would think, oh, I guess this means it's like a tripod so we can stand. Nope. If you manage to get his, his... It already doesn't really look comfortable, since it's really kind of tricky to get his staff to go completely vertical. Looks kind of awkward. But even if you do manage to do it, he'll fall over, so that won't really work out. Maybe if you position it just right, you can. But... All hope is lost. 
and my probably my biggest gripe with him is that he has a lot of trouble standing up. These two stand up just fine, since Shield Knight has her big shield and Shell Knight has his shovel. This guy doesn't need to stand. Let's put him back into frame. But Plague Knight, you could argue that, oh, he's going to be constantly bomb bursting. Well, first of all, that's the game. This is a physical plush. You can... You can get it just right for him to balance. It's a bit tricky. Let me try to get it. See if I can. Luckily, where I display... Oh, oh he's falling. Luckily, where I display them, I have a Kirby Nendroid, Nen Nendoroid, however you pronounce it, box. So, I... Oh, there we go. But, of course, this is on carpet. So, maybe a bit different. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of disappointed he doesn't come with any potions. I mean, you, you, you kind of need potions for Plague Knight. So, overall, they are all fantastic. If you only want... If you want just two of them... I would put my favorite two... I can't pick favorite two. Plague Knight is my favorite. Shield Knight and Shovel Knight are pretty equal. And the Tropical King is my personal least favorite. Character-wise and plush-wise. Of course, I love every Shovel Knight character. Anyway, these retail for $28 each. That might change one day. But for now, the time of this recording, July 29th of 2016. I think that's today. Um, that is the current pricing for these guys. But they're all fantastically made. They come from the good folks over at We Love Fine and Yacht Club Games, I guess, for characters. If you want them, just type up their website. I guess I'll try, I'll try to put a link to their Shovel Knight stuff in the description below or maybe wherever it is now. And, yeah, they are fantastic. Where do I want to see this collection of plushes go? I would really like to see them make the entire Order of No Quarter. That would be... That would be... Good and bad. Bad because I would lose a lot of my money. Well, I'm pretty young. So I don't have to worry about... College and stuff just yet. But, um... I would love to see... If they could only make... Four more. I think the obvious choices would be the Enchantress, Black Knight... I'm surprised they didn't make those two yet. I'm really surprised. And King Knight and Specter Knight, since they'll be playable. And I think it would be cool if they made Mona for Plague Knight. That would be pretty cool. I force Mona, and then they could include the potions with Mona. Oh, that would be really cool. And like she can hold the potions and come with her book, like the little um writing feather. That would be really cool. And if they did want to make the order, the entire order of no quarter, that would be pretty cool too. Like Tinker Knight, Mole Knight, Propeller Knight, Propeller Knight. Uh, you know, I'll share my ideas here, but I'm, I'm at 13 minutes and 36 seconds, so I'll just wrap this up. Overall, these are fantastic. I love the folks over at Yacht Club Games and Wheel of Fine. Well, Yacht, I have some mixed feelings sometimes about Wheel of Fine with some shipping problems. That, that's not important. I still like them. They're cool, Leo, Mulio. Yacht Club Games is my favorite company ever. So, overall, as I've been stressing this enough, these are fantastic. If you are a Shovel Knight fan, like me, definitely get these. This is a no-brainer. Anyway, this is me signing off. Doodles.